9.487. Floor exercise competition continues now with Wendy Bruce. This young lady is a teammate of Brandy Johnson, who's unable to compete due to an illness. Brandy at this juncture at the Nationals, if we were to parlay her scores, would have an all-around total of 66. Right now, Wendy Bruce has an all-around total of 64.6. So almost a two-point difference if Brandy were here and were to use those U.S. national scores. This is one of Wendy's best events here. She's very, very powerful, particularly on the tumbling, full twisting double back. Her work is very similar to Brandy's. They have about the same style and the same strength. Wendy Bruce is a lady who won the International Mixed Pairs seen here on ESPN. She was teamed with a gymnast from China, Li Jing. And her coach really feels it was at that point that she kind of came out of her shell. Yes, I agree. Middle tumbling pass. It's a whip back through to a double back. Double turn right into a straddle. Half turn jump. Preparing for her last tumbling run. with a double pull. It's a little bit of a weak ending. Really, to, in preparing for the World Championships, we're going to have to see double backs at the end. And in fact, her teammate, Brandi Johnson, her coach just told me she's going to be doing a full twisting double back at the end of her routine. And that's going to be par for the course over there. And Dixon, on balance beam, scored 8.875. We've seen a few dismounts. Let's take a look at the tumbling here. Maybe you could rank for us what tumbling moves are more difficult than others. Well, any time you get into the somersaulting moves, double backs with full twists, those are the most difficult moves you're going to see. The difference is many of the gymnasts will be ending their routines with those. And you also see laid out full twisting double backs. In fact, I've seen double twisting double backs. So we've come a long way in gymnastics, and the Americans are really going to have to push for that difficulty to be competitive. And I'm sure she's working to do a double back at the end here as well. So a double back is more difficult to execute than a double twist. Yes. Cheryl Dundas is our next competitor on the floor exercise. Currently in the all-around standing, she is in seventh position. That's after two rotations today, and of course with all the computations from nationals and compulsories factored in. Cheryl Dundas was born in Aurora, Colorado. Currently resides in Austin, Texas. She's done well in every event except the balance beam. Her last event, she had a fall. Lay out in, double back. Nice clean form. See how she extended the first somersault and then piped the second. She had great tumbling on the beam. Too bad she fell towards in 13. injuries at the oh, USA Championship. They were really bothering her, but she seems to have come back strong, and she looks better here than she did at Championship. And she's moved up. She is from Jim Country, USA. This is that middle telling run. She does a front with a full twist. She breaks form in the air, but is very low and a low landing. That's going to be the major deduction in the routine. And I'm glad to see her doing this double back at the end of a routine. 
It's not the easiest thing for her to do, and you can see that she really has to work at it. Strong lift on the takeoff, and pulls it around, and like I said, that's tough on the knees. So let's recap the scoring for the gymnasts that we've seen. First on the balance beam, we saw Jenny Esther. She received a 9.3 run two. Then Wendy Bruce competed on the floor exercise, receiving a 9.662. And finally, Cheryl Dundas on floor, receiving a 9.4. That completes three rotations, so the adjusted all-around standings after the three events look like this. Christy, Christy Henrich is still the leader, followed by Wendy Bruce and Sandy Woolsey. And Shelly Stack and Kim Kelly are moving very steadily, remaining in their position. Jenny Esther had a little bit of trouble, but came back strong in the balance beam. Our coverage of the World Championship Team Trials will continue. We still have more competitors on vaulting and Florex. We are ready now for our fourth and final rotation here at the 1989 U.S. World Championship Team Trials. I'm Leander Riley along with Kathy Johnson. And Kathy, this is it, the final chance to make this team. 16 gymnasts vying for eight positions. And we are back at the vaulting competition where you're looking at Sandy Woolsey. And Sandy is sitting pretty going into this final rotation. She's going into vault. She does a very strong vault, one of the most difficult vaults done. She's doing a round off layout with a full twist. Safe to say she has just about made the team unless she really wipes out. She's currently in third position. Good approach. Nice ball. Again, off-center. Many of the girls doing this ball tend to go off-center on it. It's a very difficult ball. It's a blind move. You have to go backwards onto the board, backwards onto the horse, and it happens so quickly. Good lift up off the horse. Could be a little tighter in the legs, a little higher on the landing, and of course, dead center on the mat would be ideal. But overall, pretty solid ball. And of course, she has an opportunity now to improve on that score. In case you're just joining us, the vaulting rules that we are using is that each gymnast is entitled to execute two vaults. It is only the higher score that will carry. Sandy has really been consistent all year. In all the qualifying meets, the American and U.S. Classic, which qualified them to the USA Championship, she was first in one, second in the other. She's just really done great this year. I think you can hear our public address announcer, Jan Clare, announcing that the score for the first fault was 9.625, so now she'll have an opportunity to try to better that number. Much better fault. Look at the distance she got from the horse. The height was better, the position in the air. She was more centered on the mat. It was just completely a different ball from the first one. So the hometown girl does well and the crowd appreciates it. Her classmates and her teammates on hand to congratulate her. I'd be willing to bet that's the best she's ever done that ball. Good approach. So much more height and distance. This vault takes a tremendous amount of concentration. As I said, to hit that board, going backwards, and then get onto the horse. And the vault itself, very difficult and done very well. And you know she'd love to take this crowd with her to Stuttgart. Score for the second vault, 9.8. I think that's the highest score we've seen here today. She earned it. Oh, go on. Yep. Currently third in the all-around standings after three rotations. She locked herself into the top three of American gymnastics with that score. Juliet Bangerter. Andy Woolsey. What a great way to end the meet. What a confidence booster she heads overseas. The gymnasts will leave from here and go to France. From France, they'll go through a training camp and then it's to the World Championships in Stuttgart.